What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography and I just can't, I cannot stop being amazed by the new iPad Pros. You can do so much on them and it's just insane. So before I was talking about editing photos with Lightroom CC and if you haven't checked that out, check it up in the link here and in the description. But now let's talk about editing video with Adobe Premiere Rush. So Adobe Premiere Rush is a mobile watered down version of Premiere Pro and it's extra watered down. Let's say if Lightroom CC is 75% of what Lightroom Classic is, Adobe Rush is like 20% of what Premiere is. So I'm not a video editor myself outside of YouTube stuff, just some jump cuts, some B-rolls, a little bit of audio editing. So I'm not like video expert, but when it comes to editing simple videos, Adobe Rush is actually pretty good. And I think for anyone out there who's hating on it, the biggest thing to keep in mind is it's a mindset change. Adobe Rush is mainly for mobile work. It's to be able to edit stuff real quick and get back home and then export it there. Because keep in mind, you can actually move your stuff over to Premiere Pro and finish it there, or even just use Adobe Rush to export and move it somewhere else like Final Cut, which is what I do. So before you go ahead and lay down the hate hammer on Adobe Rush, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Adobe Rush. So yet again, Adobe Rush is our very watered down version of Adobe Premiere Pro. As you see here, I have a couple of other videos that I've gone ahead and edited. So let's look at how that process looks. I'm gonna make a new project. When you first make your new project, you have to actually add your media first. So make sure you import before you go in to make a new project. It just works a little bit easier. Now that we're in here, we see my camera roll. Just a word of advice, right now Premiere Rush will only let you import from the Creative Cloud, Dropbox, and your own camera roll. So it's a little annoying, but it works out. So I have different albums. So if you import into a specific album, that's probably the easiest way to deal with stuff. I have one that I called Video Imports. So here's a bunch of 4K video that I've imported from my Fuji X-T2. I can grab a couple clips and you see how it says one and two so that's actually the order it's going to import it in as well so let's do these two I can name my project I'll name it stuff and then create and then it will import so that took about one or two minutes not too bad as you know Adobe Rush is $9.99 a month if you are not paying for it, it'll basically ask you to upgrade every time you're using it. You can make as many projects as you want to, but when it comes to exporting, it will only let you export three times and then at that point you have to start paying. So I have two more exports, which I will be doing soon and then I'll figure out if I wanna pay or not. <laughs> the interface is very straightforward. It actually looks a lot like Adobe Lightroom CC, so I like it a lot and it's very easy to understand, especially if you're not a full-blown video editor. On the top here, you can go back home, you can add more media, you can look at all your media, and then you have all your editing tools here on the side. The little scissors for cutting, you can duplicate, trash, you can open up the audio that way, and by expanding the audio, you can actually move the audio separately. You have your lanes here, so three audio and I think four video on the top, if you include the middle. And then this tool switches between moving the whole clip and then trimming the clip. So extremely straightforward. I found that I actually like to use my hands instead of the pencil as much. It just kind of works out smoother. You play your video. And then here's a cut, so I can cut it there. I can cut it here. And then I can delete it. So one thing I don't like so far is that this orange bar, when it's for trimming, it's so big. You see how it blocks some of the audio? I'm not a big fan of that. It's, it's kind of annoying actually. So that's one thing I'm not a big fan of, but Outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. See, here we go again, I can clip that, clip it there, delete it, and then I have a little cut.
And you can see this stuff runs pretty smooth for a straight up 4K. Now on the right side here, this is all the stuff you can do to your clips. So you have your transitions, you have your colors. So I can color grade this if I want to, but Fuji colors are so good. <laughs> I have my audio stuff, which is okay. Basically turn it up, turn it down, auto volume. You can change the type so you can have music, voice or other. You can turn all this stuff off if you want to as well. You have the clip volume. Then you have your auto ducking, which is actually pretty cool. The uh, reduced echo and reduced noise, it, as an audio engineer myself, it's just not that great. I'm not a fan of it. It works, but it doesn't sound good. You also have enhanced speech stuff, which also I don't think sounds that great. And then you have your auto ducking, which is really cool. You have your transform stuff, so I can, you know, change the clip. I can move it around. I can make it see through all kinds of different things I can do there. Also, I skipped it, but you have your text here at the top. So you have your titles and stuff. You can throw that stuff in there. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. One last feature too, before I go is you can switch it to a portrait or a square. So that's good for yet again, Instagram, IGTV, any like social media posting. So that's really what this program is best at. It's just quick, quick edits to go right back to Instagram, IGTV or something like that or you can edit on the go like I would, and then send it to Premiere Pro to finish your edits. You can see here, I have two whole videos that I fully edited, and they're pretty easy videos because it's just talking to the screen, so see just a bunch of jump cuts and things, and it works pretty easily, and what I'm gonna do, since I mainly work in Final Cut Pro, is just export this. You'll see I left a bunch of did space at the beginning so that I can do my usual little intro and then at the end, I'll just add my little outro. So pretty straightforward. I like it. So that was a quick look at Adobe Rush. Like I said, 20% of Adobe Premiere, if, if even, honestly. But it's really cool for quick mobile edits, Instagram stories or IGTV, or just starting on your edits when you're away from your main rig, and then you can finish it up there. So all y'all video editors out there, how do y'all feel about Adobe Rush? Do you hate it? Do you like it? Do you see the point? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like seeing more information like this and other creative entrepreneur stuff. Thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll be with y'all next time. All right, peace.